we don't get to build the buildings and the schools that we build um, without the support of our community. So making sure we do that efficiently and effectively is, I think, why it's important to have those tools. You know, Owner Insight, you know, our commitment is not selling software, right? Our, our commitment has been always about building partnerships with the school districts that we work with, and you've been exceptionally good at, at uh, helping foster that and kind of grow that. Why, why do you think school districts really need their own type of software? Because you've come from, you know, both sides of the fence, being an architect yeah. and now within yeah. the school district, uh, you know, you've seen both sides of the, you know, the challenges that lack of information or no visibility really brings to the table. So why do you think it's so critical for a school district to have tools like this for their, their own purposes? You know, I, I, I think it is because it's ever changing uh, environment out there. And so yeah. to have something consistent, that, that you know, um, and it's, and look, we, you and I both know, and I, I, I know, um, I, I'm going to assume this and if I'm wrong, please correct me. But, uh, obviously it, there's, uh, over a thousand school districts in state of Texas, and it's not yeah. right for everybody to have that. Some, some right. districts are way too small mm -hmm. and they just can't uh, afford to have a construction team and a management team on their staff. We're in that group of kind of, um, fast growth, uh, identified school districts that uh, we, we're blessed to have a pretty significant team on hand to help us manage those those projects. Um, and so sometimes if you're having to outsource that stuff, that's a different scenario. Yep. When you're actually taking that on internally, then I think it's, it's very critical to make sure that you understand and own all the pieces to, to the puzzle as you're putting it together. And I think that's where Owner Insight stepped in for us and helped us really um, collaborate with us on how do we solve the puzzle? You know, when we started this a few years back, uh, you you started, but when we were asked to to give some advice and and work with you on some kind of development tools, you know, I, I say we were solving a puzzle. We didn't know what the shapes of the pieces were yet. We were working <laughs> through true. it. I mean, yeah. I, I knew what shapes I wanted the pieces to be, and 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 you were trying to make them in those shapes. But um, so that's why I think it's important because once you once you have that ownership, once you're able to track and manage that at the end of the day it just makes you that much more efficient in delivering those projects and ultimately hopefully proves that to your board and to your community because that you're you're this is all taxpayer dollars you know yep. we know that we take that very sensitive um we don't get to build the buildings and the schools that we build um without the support of our community so making sure we do that efficiently and effectively is, I think, why it's important to have those tools uh, on hand and, and that you have the, the management power, the brain power, the ownership of those tools. Yeah, absolutely. When you touched on something that's really important, it's that trust, right? Trust amongst the team and it's trust amongst the taxpayers that have entrusted you with their dollars to build the learning environments that they want for their students and staff. And it's pretty critical for you to have that visibility and that accountability and, and try to keep everybody on the same page. Because if everybody's kind of singing from the same hymnal, the chances of a much more successful project outcome, hopefully under budget if possible, uh, right. is, is highly, right. highly possible. Thank you.